What does hula hooping do to your body? Why is it different from any other workout? Of course, it improves your cardiovascular fitness, like many other workouts, improves your coordination, like many other workouts. Pick your hoop up, gorgeous. Don't just watch what I'm talking about. Experience it for yourself and together, let's get even more pumped about hula hooping. Let's learn about posture and how hooping can help you improve yours, thrusting and how to wake up your pelvic girdle, learn about how your connective tissue is stimulated while you're having a fun workout, learn about instant feedback and its benefits regarding the intensity of your hula hoop workouts and also the correct technique. I get straight to the point, I trimmed it, cut it, shrunk it so that I'm not wasting your time. Let's go! Hooping is a lot of extension, even hyperextension. So you're pushing yourself towards the front, opening it up, strengthening your back. Normally, we do exactly the opposite during the day. You're studying, commuting for studying or working, working. We tend to do lots and lots of sitting. That creates a pattern. Pattern. The muscles here in the front of the body normally get shorter and we compress organs that actually do need some space and they do need circulation, but we deprive, deprive. deprive them a little bit through sedentary lifestyle. It's not your fault. I'm not saying you're lazy. I spend eight to ten hours by a computer working all day, even though I'm about fitness, but I have to sit too. So a lot of the times it's not like if it was our choice, but when you do have a choice, try and choose something that extends or hyperextends your body. Does the word antidote ring a bell maybe? Look it up and research. Antidote is what you need when you do too much bad stuff. You don't just carry on doing the bad stuff and while you're hula hooping, you can't carry on doing the bad stuff and the flexion you extend. You elevate, you straighten yourself. Hooping basically is counter movement. However sedentary and full of flexion your life may be throughout your years, hooping almost reprograms your whole body for a new pattern, giving your body a new movement culture. And then strengthening the muscles in the back so that your slow twitch fibers that are responsible for holding you upright all day, they are going to have the endurance and the fitness. To no longer compress everything but give your bits and pieces lots of space so your heart, your lungs, your capillaries, your guts can wake up and function at an optimal level. I'm not saying that hooping is the only workout that you can do to extend your body but predominantly when we are hula hooping that's what we're doing. Hooping gives you permission to thrust. When we are hooping, it's not really the abdominals that we are using. We are using mostly our glutes and all the thrusting muscles. These days, glute inhibition and glute activation are super trending words. It's because we have huge, huge problems. Sedentary lifestyle, as I already mentioned, sitting is quite devastating for this area. And this is why, unfortunately, lots of people struggle with fertility issues, even loss of libido. I'm not saying you're frigid. I'm just saying that once you start hula hooping, you will be super interested. Because of all of the attention that you put here, of course, this movement will increase your circulation, which means all your bodily juices are going to be flowing everywhere, delivering nutrition, blood, hormones, oxygen. Your body is going to change anyway because you will be in a phenomenal shape from hula hooping. You will be wanting to throw all your clothes away. If it feels like that your relationship needed a bit of a spark because it's gone a bit flat over the years, maybe you didn't get bored with each other. It's just that you didn't move this way enough to show interest and now suddenly you start hula hooping and your other half will suddenly seem a lot more interesting. Hula hooping will help you with that, it will break down tension, it mobilizes your pelvic girdle and that of course comes with consequences. It's how our species survived that we thrust and we have circulation so it's not an evil thing, it's natural. But honestly, I have to ask, how often do you actually do this? Well, during your hula hoop workout, this is what you're doing all the way through. These sort of things you don't quite get from a plank challenge or on the cross trainer, do you? This is a balloon with water. 
very scientific, I know. Wherever your hula hoop travels, it will boost the circulation in that area. And this is why when people start hula hooping, they notice that their skin turns red. The scientific name for that is erythema, and that's basically the vasodilation of your capillaries, an increase of blood flow to the skin. Blood flow is, you know, what makes you horny as well as makes your skin come back to life. We do tend to deprive our body and everything is stagnant and now suddenly all your bits and pieces are fed. Super juice, oxygen, everything! It is the skin that you first see, but it's not just the skin that makes somebody look fit when they look like they're firm and not wobbly and flabby and floppy, but it is because of all the work that has been going on below the surface. When you're hooping, it's like you're having a workout, but at the same time, you're also having a massage that encourages your connective tissue to reorganize. The cells that make up your body were not there a few weeks or months ago. Each and every single body cell has got their own life cycle. Bone cells, blood cells, skin cells, they have different lifespans. Some die sooner. They're all being replaced all the time. So depending on the activities that you do and also the nutrition that you follow, you are being restructured, recreated at all times. If you start hooping on a regular basis, it is likely that you experience that your skin tone will improve because of the stimulation that your connective tissue receives. What other workout is there out there that gives you a good firm toning massage and beats you up all over everywhere? Wherever you want your skin to look more toned, that's where you should spin your hula hoop. You don't look like this balloon because it's not just your skin, so the outside that is holding you together. There's lots of connective tissue there. We call it fascia. When you exercise, you challenge your fascia to some extent and all of your connective tissue, including your skin, because if you're bouncing about, for example, your connective tissue have to have like almost a workout. It is being trained. So it's not just your muscles that you're training or your joints. You are training lots and lots of other things that hold you firm and tight. When you're hula hooping, you get extra because your hula hoop is beating you up as it's traveling around your body, stimulating your skin and all of your connective tissue in that area to get firmer and stronger. This is good news if your connective tissue is a bit neglected and unfit, and especially so if your connective tissue has been pushed to its limits. When I was pregnant, I was absolutely huge, and it was shocking to see myself the next few days like a deflated balloon. Of course, you can purchase some magic lotions and potions. You can also go for fancy treatments. And I'm a working single mum. I don't have time to drive around to a massage therapist so they can massage me. So what, do I then massage myself? But you know, I'm so busy, I don't have time for that. Always, so much needs doing. And I want to keep in shape too, but I don't have to choose because with a hoop I get the two done. <laughs> You always get instant feedback about a lot of things when you're hula hooping. The easiest one that I can get out of the way is intensity. You always know if you're working hard enough or not because if you're taking it too easy, your hoop is going to drop down or hang down somewhere and it's not going to do the things that you want it to do. It is like having a personal trainer chasing you at all times. So you have feedback about the intensity, but you also have constant feedback about your technique. Maybe you go to an exercise class and you're not sure if you're doing it right. I used to work in gyms as well and beginners were usually not sure if they were doing things right or not and they needed constant reinforcement and encouragement. With your hula hoop, you always know if you're doing it right or wrong because your hoop is constantly giving you feedback instantly. So if you're not doing it right, your hoop is going to go wonky. It will do weird stuff. It will have funny angles. This is why I started hooping in the first place. Because when I started, I was studying osteopathy. And for me, hooping was a way to create equilibrium. I was watching the bodies who were hula hooping and what the hoop was doing. Without any judgment or criticism, do have a look at the lady on the right side and why is it that she's dropping her hula hoop? What is it that she's doing with her body? She's pulling backwards, isn't she? She's not pushing forward. She's in flexion. She's in the same position, in the same pattern like we all are. And that was so exciting because it felt like it's like a diagnostic tool. 
I can see if there's tension somewhere or if there's lack of strength, if there's an inhibition, if there's compensation. You don't need to have a background in osteopathy to be able to tell if your hoop is wonky. When, for example, we are learning the bunny girl, it's one of the beginner moves, it is super frustrating because when you're new to hooping, it is quite wonky. If you're angry with the hula hoop and think it's trying to piss you off, it's not correct. I'm sorry, the hoop is trying to help you. It's actually letting you know that, look, you have a huge imbalance issue here. You better start wiggling about and contorting your body and start picking up the tempo and pushing harder on the other side where it's hanging down because it looks like you're completely out of balance. So your hoop is helping you. It helps you learn about your body. You don't have to know anything about muscles. You will be wiggling yourself about, contorting your body and in desperation throwing all your body parts everywhere trying to fix it. Well, you're not fixing the hula hoop, you're going to be fixing your own body. You are going to mobilize the bits that are a bit stuck and you're going to strengthen the parts that are a bit too weak. So the weak ones will catch up with the strong ones and you find balance. I have not yet actually come across any other workout that would give so much information about the body. It is like a physiotherapy tool. So if you're into physiotherapy, put a hula hoop on your people. The standing examinations in a clinic will never give you as much information about a person and their posture and imbalances and inhibitions as a tiny hula hoop workout. So just putting a hula hoop on someone will give you so much information, you will know everything you need to know to fix that individual. And the exercises that you can do with a hula hoop are amazing fun. It's a bit like having a really, really awesome phone, like the latest whatever brand phone that you are given and it can do lots of cool stuff, but you've got no clue how to use any of that. And your hoop is almost like a little teacher so that it will show you how to unlock those features that you never knew were available to you. Your body can do so much if you spend enough time loving it, paying attention to it, discovering it. All right, gorgeous, I hope you've been hula hooping all the way along and that it wasn't so boring, but you're so excited to learn even more that you will want to check out the next video. Keep hooping and keep learning, keep getting super inspired. You're doing awesome, well done.